So welcome back to another custom fitting video. And today we've got Meg Down, who's currently a PGA assistant at Cumberwell Park. So she's a very, very good golfer, consistent golfer. I'm really looking to try and optimize her driver today. So say good ball striker generally keeps it somewhat in play, but not quite optimizing that distance. The ball flight maybe not quite where she wants to see it on course and the distance certainly not. So really looking to try and optimize that driver, eke out every yard that we can, get her further down there to help her reduce those scores. So that's exactly what we're gonna be trying to do today. So let's jump into the fit, see if we can do it. Tell me a little bit about your driving. Anything that uh, you think performance-wise is going on or any specific misses that you struggle with, anything like that? Um, probably miss is a little bit left at the moment. Um, yeah. I do have a draw bias driver, just yeah. because when I did get it, it, my miss was right. Yeah. So got a little bit of a draw bias driver to help straighten it up, but now because of my swing changes, I'm getting a little bit more left. Okay. Um, it's 10 and a half degrees. I do get a lot of spin and a lot of height, so probably just kind of look at that maybe. and yeah. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'm pretty straight. So okay. um, consistency isn't really the issue. It's just distance and like obviously my miss and spin. So. Yeah, okay. Do you know sort of apart from the fact that it's a HD and it's 10 and a half, do you know sort of like the specs of that in terms of like length, swing weight, anything like that? Um, standard men's length driver, it's a light stiff shaft. Yeah. Um, other than that, not yeah. really. Yeah, it's a 45 and a half, so it's, it's quite long, really. Mm -hmm. I think, I personally think it's a little bit too long for a lot of people. Yeah. We'll see. And swing weight is D4, so it's like what McElroy will play his driver at weight-wise. So, again, it'll certainly be interesting to dabble with length, shaft weight, swing weight, those kind of things, and just see how you respond to those. And certainly, if you hit the ball generally reasonably straight, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Just see, you know, if even we can pick up a bit of speed in those kind of things, and then, yeah, optimise numbers and go from there. Saying my missus left, that's on the right. Yeah, a little high toe, it's okay. Yeah. Sounded a bit more solid. Okay, a little bit healy. Yeah, a little healy, which we expect to see a bit of spin but that is a lot of spin and like when i play on the course it just some just kind of go up and i'll like there'll be a little bit of a draw but it will just kind of go upward it won't have like a nice trajectory okay so the launch okay. launch is high and just kind of yeah. goes up mm -hmm. yeah yeah that's a better strike again yeah a little bit of a draw on that one as well so nice There you go, perfect. I mean, that's probably all we really need to see, isn't it? Because that's perfect delivery, super neutral, nice tiny little draw right out of the middle. I'm still seeing 18 launch, 3600 backspin. Yeah. So that is just, yeah, way too much launch and spin. Mm -hmm. Cool, right. That was a bit better. <laughs> nice. I mean, terrible result, but <laughs> that's a really good drive. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say a little bit high on the face that sounded, but it's actually done really well. Like launch, still nice and high, 16, spin at 2000, so that's come down massively. Obviously, it, we'd expect that from a little bit of a high strike. Yeah. Great delivery again, though. And yeah, 210 carry, rolling out to 230. It's a lovely flight. It's How definitely a little bit more like forward oh, yeah. rather than kind of just up in the air. Floating, yeah. yeah, yeah. And yeah, I was going to say, tiny little bit of high, high on the face again, but I mean, that's actually really good. Like, so the efficiency, even though it's still high on the face, a bit more solid, one for two efficiency, still great delivery. And yeah, actually really good launch and spin. Still launching it nice and high, which we want to maximise carry, but the backspin way, way, way down. So, you know, 213 rolling out to 235. 
compared to with yours, we were at like 193. Yeah. That, that was actually the, oh, was it, did I delete that? Yeah, 195 max. So, I mean, it's almost 20 yards up on carry and 25 yards total, which is, that's a, that's a big difference. Yeah. It's like two clubs in, well, more, probably more than two clubs, two clubs less into a green. That's really good. And that's definitely a big factor for me is just like decreasing that yardage into green. So. 100%. I mean, like I say, you're a good player, you strike the ball pretty well, pretty consistent but maybe don't have as much length as you'd like. Yeah. So yeah, just that'll make the game so much easier. And how does that, now you've had a few swings with it, like how does that weight feel through, you know, through the swing? Feels easy. Yeah. It doesn't feel like a lot of effort, um, which I like, because I don't obviously have a fast swing speed. I like to feel like I'm not trying to give it a lot. Yeah. Um, it feels nice and light, um, but yeah. It's a bit easier. Feels, yeah. Yeah, good. That's had a better strike. The better strike was it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, really good. Really good. Really like that. Again, 15 launch, 22 backspin, 143 efficiency, 90 club speed, and again, that same 213 carry. So really, I'd say that was a very good first guess, to be fair, in terms of like the head that's gonna give you good numbers. We'll test a few other heads just from looks and feel and maybe there's something that you really like and really click with. But actually straight away they're striking it quite well. Numbers are really good. Like so realistically that sort of 213 carry in here anyway in a simulated environment that's probably not going to be far off your max carry distance swinging at around that sort of 90 mile an hour. Yeah. But you know there's those three down there. There was one that we pushed a little bit. Just left that face a little bit open but oh the other three Really good. Again, uh, 210, 213, 213 carry. Yeah, so which is pretty good for me. Solid, yes. 230, 235, 229. Yeah, so it's, again, a good 20 to 25 yards up on your current driver, which is really, really good. Do you think that's mostly down to the loft of the club or? Yeah. 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 Loft and head design with the HD being generally the mass being further back. It's a mm -hmm. higher spin in head. So it's got more loft and it's a higher spin in head. Yeah. Whereas that's TSR2. It's probably their mid-spin head, I would call it, but at nine degrees. So yeah, it's it's all in the head, and that's a good fitting kind of lesson, I guess. I think so many amateurs just think that launch and spins in the shaft. Yeah. It's in the head. Shafts make almost next to no difference to launch and spin, mm -hmm. but it can make a big difference in can you strike it. So yeah. finding the right the right shafts, can we strike it, and the right head pair up, right performance. A little bit healy? Uh, yeah, it wasn't quite the strike. Mm. Just a little bit, a little bit high. Okay. Just. Yeah, doesn't actually surprise me seeing a little bit of that. How does the shaft actually feel through this, through the swing initially? Can you feel like the? Yeah, it feels very different. Yeah. Um, Feels like the head's still behind me when I'm behind you. There. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's okay, isn't it? But straight off the bat, nowhere near as good as the tight list. Feels like I have to find the face a lot more. Like feel where I'm actually like trying to try and time it more. Yeah. 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 And again, swing speeds down, efficiency down. Definitely higher on the face straight away. Put control in low point when that's a bit harder. 
smear. Okay. Interesting. Again, just kind of not, not quite clicking, is it? No. It's that high strike. It was a drop kick, but it went straight. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll change that one straight away. Let's keep the head the same for a second. I'm just going to change the shaft. You see the comments on the video now. Why don't you just lose, use a lower tee? <laughs> I don't like that though, to be honest, because I actually think if you tee it lower, nine times out of 10, all I'd see is people start to hit less up on it. Yeah, Which actually, down. for you, like, I think you want to hit, you want to be hitting up on it because you want to try and maximise distance. <clears throat> it's definitely a shallower face, isn't it? It's not as like deep yeah. with the Cobra. Yeah. Um, I'm quite used to obviously a... Deeper head. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's still just high, isn't it? Yeah, interesting. Really? I mean, I tried to hit that left, but I don't know how that came off the face. And you did hit it left. Good. Similar. I mean, it's not a bad result. It didn't sound like Best of strikes. Yeah, a bit high. Came out a little bit lower that one, didn't it? Yeah. Like the strike feel on that one. Better. Interesting. Exactly the same, apparently. <laughs> Better launch and spin. It's actually similar to the launch and spin that we saw earlier from the tight list, isn't it? Yeah. Just down on the. Club speed and ball speed for efficiency for a strike. Okay. Mm. It's definitely better than any of the Cobra setups straight away, isn't it? But yeah. I mean, I love the fact that it's consistent. <laughs> it's just slightly consistently in the wrong place, isn't it? What, how does it feel initially to swing? Weight-wise, comfort-wise, yeah. shaft-wise, feels comfortable? Yeah, fine. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I mean, it's a really good drive. It's just that strike, isn't it? Just need to find, find a way of trying to get that strike down the face, just a smidge, really good delivery. like a little bit more solid. Slightly closer to the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Slightly so edging our way there. <laughs> Good. Yeah, again, necky. I mean, it's a great miss, but not what we want to see. No. Can you feel any 
difference initially in kind of like shut up and how it feels or not really? Um, not too much. No, okay. They all feel kind of the same weight. There's not really been one that feels, apart from the Paradigm one. Yeah. They haven't really felt massively light or heavy. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah, just the heel strike, isn't it? Just that heel strike. I mean, again, it's a great result, isn't it? Straight back yeah. to like 230. I would say it sounded still a little high. Yeah, it did sound a little bit high. It's crazy how that's a jump back up again, like in, in terms of distance. Not quite as far as we had earlier, but still 230, 12 yards offline. So, I mean, it's a fantastic result. Dead straight ball flight. Yeah, really good. That felt probably one of the better strokes. Yeah, sounded nice. Again, close to that 230. Yeah, good. Really, bad. really good strike. 15, 28. Tiny, tiny bit more than I might like of spin than I might like to see, but still, I mean, it literally took you one swing to like find the middle of that. Yeah. We haven't found the middle with like any of the other. anything else for like a while. So that's. Pretty impressive, and again, really good delivery, good efficiency. Swing speeds back up a little bit. So again, if if you can play, if you're someone who does hit it pretty straight, and you can get away with playing a shaft that is a little bit longer, but is a bit lighter, again, it's a little bit lighter head weight. So overall, the balance will still be quite nice, but it's long, it's light, it's comfortable. Mm -hmm. So you get a little bit more swing speed, and then if you can find the middle, that's obviously going to translate to a little bit more distance, which yeah. seems like you can, which is good. Definitely. <laughs> It's a bit mad really, isn't it? Yeah, like I haven't changed anything in my yeah. swing. I'm not feeling anything different and... Yeah, missed the strike, but it's probably slightly higher in the face again, I would, I would say, just a bit, because the yeah. launch came up a fraction, but again, a lovely ball flight, carries back up to 213, like we were seeing earlier, and nothing's even come close to, to those sort of numbers and, and dispersion and, yeah, really, really good. How does it feel going back into that, like looking down at it, picking it up, just feeling the weight of it? Yeah, I definitely prefer this weight. Yeah. Um, but the head doesn't feel much different to like looking down at the other ones. Yeah. I think it's a lot down to the feel in the swing. Yeah. Um, yeah. And yeah. the timing, really. Yeah. I can feel that timing a little bit better. Just getting that right balance. Yeah. I think it's what thing comes down to half the time, just finding the setup that gels the best for the player. Just got to go through loads, test loads of different things and see what works. I actually really like that shaft. I think it's a really nice feeling shaft. It's like stable-ish, but not really stiff. And it's light, but not too light. It just feels it's really nice and kind of easy to swing. Yeah. Which is... You try and go at that one a little bit more. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it was a really good carry. <laughs> Turned it a little bit. Again, the strike sounded like so good. Like, yeah, so it's be jumped up because you went at it a little bit. But even when you're going at it, you can still find strike mu so much better with this, yeah. this combo. And again, really good numbers, 215 carry. <laughs> you should just try uh, the three because slightly lower spins. I haven't turned this one down. I've got it playing a little bit flat, but it's nine degree to set at nine degree. Obviously you've got the heel and toe weight as well, which can give you maybe that little bit more miss protection, um, protection against your miss. If you're really worried about that sort of left miss, getting that weight in that toe sometimes help a little bit on that front. 
And I like having the adjustment as well. Like you've got the option then as well. If, if the numbers work and the head works, you've always got that ability to change it down the line. Whereas with two, you don't have that. Yeah. That's pretty nice. That felt lovely. That's very nice. Definitely take that result. Yeah, great strike. And again, like really good numbers, really good numbers, really like that. Good strike. Again, nice high launch, decent backspin, really good delivery, one, four, three efficiency. Good. Okay. Felt a good strike, obviously, yeah. you just. Just turned it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, really good strike. Probably two of the best strikes of the day. That was really nice. Yeah, that felt good. Really nice. Woo! Go on, get out there. I mean, if I'm getting that kind of distance, I'd be pretty happy. Really good, really good. So swing speed just came up a little bit more. I don't know if you probably noticed what I did, to be fair. No. Took the weight out of the head completely. Oh, yeah. Because <clears throat> I looked at it and I was looking for where the weight was and I was like, am I going mad or? <laughs> yeah, no, it's still really good though. Again, absolutely middled it. Again, if anything, hitting up a tiny bit more on it. So borderline getting close to maybe hitting up a, a smidge too much. But I don't hate that if we're really trying to maximise distance. 17 launch, 23 backspin, lovely middle strike, really good delivery, and up that carry another few yards. So yeah, that's, <laughs> that's pretty good, eh? Yeah. Slightly open face, but it didn't feel terrible. No, it's a great drive. Came really good. How does, how does that feel to swing just purely from like a comfort perspective? Like, yeah. I. I I do like it. Yeah? Doesn't feel like I'm gonna miss it massively short right or massively left either. Okay, so. nice. Guess like we said a minute ago, in theory, maybe having a lighter head, a lot of people might associate with turning that over more, but if it just is a, is a nicer weight to swing, you can be a bit more relaxed. I feel a lot of the left miss comes from either hanging back or getting a bit, a bit yeah. tight on it. So if you can just be nice and, nice and relaxed. Exactly. It helps so much. <laughs> That sounded good. I'm <laughs> really liking this combo. Yeah. Really liking it. Really good. Yeah, you know that strike pattern. Yeah, it's just really good. 16 launch, 22 backspin, perfect numbers, 143 efficiency, swing speed still around that 90 mile an hour. And yeah, again, we've had three down the fairway. Well, missed a little bit right, but distance now. I mean, again, the longest drive of the day at 216 carry, 213 carry, 209 carry. A little bit of the right one, a little bit shorter, of course, but the max distance is there. The strike is there. Like, that's really, really good. <laughs> Yeah, it's a lovely drive. Looked a tiny bit forward, so I'd say a tiny bit high on the face, a little bit low spin, but... Yeah. Yep, a little high on the face, a little bit low spin. But again, as far as a drive goes, you're not going to be upset with that at all, are you? No. Yeah. It's a really good drive. Really nice. Really good. Yeah, really good. Really nice. One four four efficiency. Really good. Two eleven carry. I mean, see how like minutely that strike has to be different to make like a really big difference to spin. Yeah. So that there, you go an eighteen hundred. Oh, that's a bit low. All of a sudden, you hit it smack bang at the middle. It's twenty five. You go, Jesus, seven hundred revs of spin just because it's great delivery again. Face basically square. Really good efficiency. 
So yeah, it's really, really good numbers. I really like that. It looks very comfortable. Straight away, pipe two down the middle. Like, yeah, I think that's great. Do you feel confident with it? Yeah. Yeah? I feel like the miss isn't as wide as the others. Yeah, 100%. Like I can really kind of turn the other ones over, whereas this one, if I get a slightly close club face, it's not massively like... Massively gone, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a great drive to end on, isn't it? Really good. So good. Love it. Yeah, really, really nice. Awesome. Great stuff. Thank Happy you. with that? Yeah. Good. Good. It was good. Good. Thanks. So there we have it, really happy with those results. Again, TSR3 with no weight in the head coming up trumps. Again, goes to show maybe someone with a slightly slower swing speed who needs a little bit of spin reduction, try and pick up a little bit of speed, still very stable in the head. Somebody who strikes it quite consistently, of course, but does really, really well. So we jump into kind of uh, comparing the numbers and the results that we actually saw throughout that fit in. So Meg's initial driver, we knew it was just spinning way, way too much. So we see 18.4, 3600 spin on average, ball speed down a little bit. It was with both of these combos, ball speed up four mile an hour, launch down a little bit, both times. There's two separate sets, so we hit it the first time around and then the second time around as well for confirmation. Again, launch still nice and high, which is great if we're trying to maximise carry. Spin down a shed low, so 23.93 first time around, then 21.78 second time around. Again, both really happy with those numbers, 209 carry so that's up 20 yards and you know probably 25 yards total because it's going to be coming in shallower and running out more as well so in summer going to get even more roll out as well so 20 25 yards up comfortably dispersion there not showing as good but the reality i think there was only one shot in the first set it was just a little bit of a high right so if we actually did take that one out yeah so there you go so with that one taken out Again, ball speed great, launch great, spin great, carry goes up a little bit because obviously that was just a bit of a short right push that, that she hit. But with that, really, really good numbers. And again, dispersion slightly down the left, but that difference in ball flight, just absolutely amazing. You see the difference there, just way more penetrating, just way more forward, increasing that carry distance. And yeah, really, really happy with that setup. So yeah, another great feeling in the bag. Thank you so much for watching. Any comments, pop them below and we'll get back to you. We'll see you in the next one.